What's up everybody, it is Sil here. I hope you have a very nice day so far. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at five different top tier loot locations in DayZ. I have done this before in high tier loot locations, including military locations, but today we'll be taking a look at some exceptional places where you can find loot or maybe places you're not completely aware of. Now, if you're already kind of known with the map, then maybe this video is not entirely for you, but regardless, this could benefit you in any way. With that being said, the sponsor of today's video is you. If you don't want to miss out on DayZ videos in the future and you want to help me out grow my channel, please leave a like and consider subscribing with the notifications turned on. Let's get into the video. Now, if this video goes a little bit too fast for you and you're still unsure where these locations are, fear not, within the description I have left you a link to the DayZ map. On the DayZ map, I've made some screenshots where these locations are so you can find them yourself. The first loot location is the summer camp near the town Delina. Right before you leave the town, there's a T-junction where you can find find yourself a dirt road going up into the mountains. If you follow this dirt track, it will lead you towards the summer camp. At this summer camp, you have three summer houses where loot spawns such as Winchester rounds, hunting clothing, and even Mosin rounds as well. The next loot location is going to be the Austrian military camp at the Northeastern Airfield. Now, unfortunately, the Northeastern Airfield itself doesn't really drop any good loot whatsoever. However, there is a small military camp nearby if you take the Northeastern Dirt Road. This dirt road will lead up to a military camp with four civilian barracks where you can find yourself a plate carrier, military clothing, and other military supplies and weapons. An excellent loot location, I'd say so myself. The next area you might recognize yourself a little bit, it is the spawning area between Electra and Cherno. Now this town in between has a well where you could drink up and maybe go inland from there. However, there is also an area quite nearby with a summer camp called Stroyel. The summer camp has at least four different summer houses. Like I said before, it spawns Winchester, Mosin rounds, and hunting clothing. The summer camp has also a hospital and that spawns like all medical supplies. Overall, a very good place to start out if you want to go inland from there on. It also has a little well, so I'd say go check it out yourself it is a very good place to get started to go inland The next area we'll be taking a look at is the scrapyard of Lopatino. It is located on the western side of the Lopatino city. The scrapyard is actually perfect for base building supplies. So if you're looking for yourself for lumber to cut planks, if you're looking for nails or sheet metal, this is definitely a place you should check out if you want to build your own base. Now the scrapyard also has containers like camouflage containers and in these containers, actually military clothing could spawn such as plate carriers, military clothing, weapons, scopes, anything like that 
that is also perfect. Overall, an area that's not commonly looted. And if you want to get your base started, then definitely this is one of the spots you should check out to get that base building supplies. The scrapyard is also located very nearby to the Lepatino Castle. I have a video, link is in the description of the high tier loot locations that I've done before. A video just like this, go check it out. So if you want to see more loot locations in Daisy. The next area we'll be taking a look at is the Biathlon Arena. Now this arena is located on the northwestern side of the map near Sinista. This arena is also nearby to a summer camp so it's perfect to check out summer camp and the Biathlon Arena. The Biathlon Arena has garages so it's also nice for base building supplies and it has multiple summer houses. The summer camp that's located nearby has also a bunch of summer houses and a little hospital as well with the well located very nearby. It's both nice to check out for summer clothing and base building supplies so definitely worth a check out. Also a nice honorable mention and a bonus location in this video is the Star Yard Scrapyard. The Star Yard Scrapyard is located on the eastern side of the little village Star Yard. It's a little scrapyard that also has exactly like in the Lapatino Scrapyard a lumber spawn. It has several spawns for base building supplies and it also has a little military crate. So definitely worth a check out yourself, especially if you want to build your base. Go check it out. It's almost at the edge of the map. It's quite a run. It's all the way up north, but it's definitely worth to check out if you want to build your own base. Now here are some screenshots of the locations that I mentioned in this video. In the description, there is a link to the I Survive map. I would say take yourself some time to get a better understanding of the map. It takes some time to get used to it, but I think these loot locations are very much worth to check out yourself. I wish you guys a safe journey and stay alive because it's not easy to get to these loot locations as you might have to cross some PvP areas. 
Also within the description you can find yourself a link to the high tier loot locations the previous video just like this I did before. So don't want to miss out on that. Click the link in the description to check it out and see more loot locations for yourself. Without further ado, be sure to like and subscribe if this really helped you out. Take it easy and stay safe guys. Have a good one.